Alright. I don't use freaking cannons. Alright, I'm gonna put this down here. Oh, that's a vibe. A little blow angle. I was oh, what? <laughs> Something like that. Hello. Yeah, I've got eyes. Can you read everything? Uh, not really. <laughs> we'll get into it. Alright. I need to intro it. Yeah, yeah, yeah sick. Yo, 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 what's going on, Tweety? Tweety? I hope you're all super well. Welcome to episode, I have no idea what, of hashtag Ask Tweety, the football show where you guys send in your football related questions. I do my best to answer them. This time, we got an old Woo! mate, Alex on, Hayes. Now. Yep, yep. You play a bit of football, don't you? Oh, for fun, I juggled the old soccer ball here and there. Oh, I've seen videos. They're decent. Yeah, it's good fun. I used to play it as a kid, but not, not too much anymore, but I love it. Yeah. So, Alex, tell us a bit about yourself. You know, your, what would you call yourself and what do you do? Jeez, well, my name's Alex Hayes <laughs> and I live pretty much next door to Sheldon. We went to school together, but I am a content creator from Sydney, Australia, and I've been doing that for about four or five years now. Um, do a lot of traveling, a lot of lifestyle videos, a lot of high adrenaline stuff. And um, I just got back from Hawaii. I did a world paddle championship, got third. How long was that paddle? It was close to 60 kilometers. Took about six and a half hours oh, in man. one of the most dangerous currents in the world. Uh, and now I'm just chilling at home. That's <laughs> sick, man. And you were do what were you doing that paddle for? Uh, I, was, I was doing that paddle to raise money and awareness for mental illness. Right, and that's something that's close to you? Yeah, it's very close to my heart. And, you know, what, what made me do this was just... Having like suicide is such a common thing nowadays, and it's so sad. And I really wanted to want to make it known that it's okay to speak up about your emotions. And so by me going out of my comfort zone and doing a paddle that is really gonna that did push me mentally, it was gonna push other people to you know speak up about that's what's cool. going on. You know, that's cool, man. And you know, I respect that you're using your platform to bring something like that to light. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Try so to use important. influence for the positive. You know. Yeah. That's sick. So, we got an Instagram live down There's here. There's so many like emojis happening just then. I really? was like, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't know you could like wave. You can wave back to people. Oh, I waved to someone. So, if you guys want to send in your questions, uh, feel free to. We're kind of like doing this and mm. that. Um, We're double timing right now. Yeah. People are saying, why don't you tell Lucy to follow me? Um, Who's Lucy? Lucy's my girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to talk about your gym stuff? Because you're, you're a surfer. Mm-hmm. You do a lot of surfing. Yep. I um, do. I do. Your gym work <laughs> and how that contributes to your surfing because when you surf, I, I've, I've surfed like five, no, actually a couple years. Yeah. I bodyboard now. I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I see you out there, dude. Doing barrels. Yeah, and shit. yeah, that's me. <laughs> so tell us about your gym program and what you do for that. To be completely honest, I don't have a gym program. I usually just train when I can because. A lot of the time, I'm actually not at home, so I'm right. having to train on the go, like at hotels where I stay at. Um, so it's on, it's honestly wherever I can, but when I'm at home, I try train like three to four times a week in the gym, but also a lot of paddling for this race. I, right, yeah. I just did. I had to do a lot of paddling, like twenty kilometers a week on the water, and it was freezing. So, like to commit yourself to a full training program is something else. Yeah, like, something I'm not necessarily used to. I mean, I'm sure you're used to oh, yeah. training for football Always. and everything, but. <laughs> Um, it's really it's really good discipline, and I think that's it plays really good role into like business life and everything yeah. too, because you learn that you got to do things at certain times. So I feel like it's really important to have a good gym schedule. Or, yeah, you know, health, super health important. Life. It's it's tough because it's the grind. You got to put in that work. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you don't want to get out and paddle in that yeah. freezing cold. Oh, it's well. getting up getting up at like four thirty a.m. and there were some mornings wow. it was about two degrees, and to paddle in the harbour where the water's like fifteen degrees. Yeah. It's, uh, it's Man, hard. That's insane. <laughs> it's pretty hard, yeah, definitely. So, with the gym stuff, do you feel like when you perform in the gym and you work at it, whether it's on the go or whatever, do you feel like it helps you in surfing? Like, and in what way? How does Yeah, it well, definitely, you? like, muscle strengthening, like, really pushes your surfing. I mean, I'm not surfing as much nowadays because mm -hmm. I, I used to want to be a professional surfer and I did, like, the Pro Junior Series and so I was training a lot back then and I, I found it definitely helped my surfing. Like, stronger muscles, stronger turns, flexibility yeah. is key for surfing, you know, having to move your body in all angles at all times. Um, and also, like, it, pre it prevents injury. Oh, 100%. You know, to yeah. be flexible and to be, to be strong and prepared, it really does prevent injury and I'm injury prone, so I have to be pretty on top of everything. So, so why, why do you stop the... I guess, or stop chasing the goal to becoming a pro surfer. Ironically, talking about injury, I actually snapped my leg when I was just turned 17, and that was at my peak of surfing. Damn. And I was out of the water for about six months, and during that time, my, I was pretty crushed emotionally. You know, I wanted to be a professional surfer, 
and everything in my life revolved around this one goal. Mm. But funny enough, everything happens for a reason. I really was uh, was put to have an open mind throughout that process of having an injury because I realised that there was so much more to life than yeah. just this, which was great. Like it just opened my my crossroads of so many things I wanted to do. So that's why I kind of right. just led so many other things and travelling and what I'm doing today and videos and. So you having think having that open mind during your injury really helped you get past that stage of it's all over. What am I going to do with my life? Yeah, well, I was literally like, holy shit, I've been, I've been training for surfing the past four or five yeah. years of my life. Like, this is everything. But then when you realize that it's not everything, that, you know, it's mm. like kind of it's kind of a special moment, really. Yeah, and I feel like maybe some, because a lot of these people who watch this want to become professional footballers. Yeah. So <clears throat> what sort of advice would you have for someone who, you know, might not be there yet or yep. they're going through an injury, for example, like you, yep. what advice would you have for them? I think the most important thing I could say, honestly, is to have a balance between everything. You can't put all your eggs in one basket because, you know, like, what if you drop the basket? You know, you don't, you're not going to have anything. <laughs> yeah. You know, I kind of made that up on the spot. But, like, you got to have a balance, really. You really have to have a balance. Yeah, so you're talking, when you say balance, you're talking balance in for your future or balance it with football and friends and that sort of stuff. We've got our family, friends, social and but like what you want what you want to inspire to do, so if you want to do football, you gotta have a balance, like you gotta just have an open mind. You got yeah. you can't you can't keep all you can't put all eggs in one basket. You, know? you can't like drop out of school. Cause if, and if go. You, yeah, because if you block out all other all other opportunity, what if this one doesn't work? Yeah, exactly. yeah. I'm like I'm not gonna be that person to say you gotta have plan B, yeah. but like you just have to <laughs> have an open mind to what else can happen throughout your journey of following that goal of, mm. of wanting to be a professional footballer? Because you never yeah. know, you could go, go into something else, you could go into YouTube. You could yeah, exactly. Go See, a lot of things. people say to me, Sheldon, you need a plan B, it's not going to work out for you. I'm like, cool, well, that's you've just your got, opinion. What and is my it? Plan. This is, this is exactly. your like, plan D, you know, professional footballer, yeah. doing so many other things while, while doing stuff like this, yeah. it's freaking awesome. Yeah. yeah. You, know, and you like, never know what's going to work the best for you until mm, you try. 100%, man. Like, a lot of players want to drop out of school so they can train more and go overseas. But I feel like that sort of mentality won't take you as far as maybe just going with the flow. Because when you have that mentality of just going, this is what I'm doing, yeah. everything else can leave me. I'm not even focusing on anything else. Yeah. No family, friends, I'll just talk to them whenever. Yeah. It's football. Yeah, well, you just got to have the drive 100% and you got to have that focus and put the blinders on and just completely go for it. But while staying completely present and open to the opportunities that life will throw you. Yeah. I love it, man. Yeah. So, let's see. Uh, what have we got here? Does body weight affect your own speed? All right, we're going to stop and come back to you guys in a minute. All right, so, mate, you've had a lengthy football career. Lengthy. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> and it's you've reached some high levels. We're yeah. talking d division... I got in first you, division. I, I, really I, thought, like. I was going to say, you got in division yeah. one at one point. Yeah. What, no. what age group was that? I, I actually can't remember age group, but I, I think, think it was like it was under like, 14s. Like... Something like that, yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember I was, you, were, I, you were Division 1. I, yeah, I was Division 1 and I was like, so, I loved football and I still do love it like so much. And But obviously I can't play it now, but um, I was fully devoted to it. I was training all the time That's... and I was watching all the games, but I was actually a pretty good goalkeeper too. Like, really? I got into the um, the reserves for Manly, I think it's Manly United. Yeah, Manly United. Yeah, for the refs. And when I, oh. under 40, the first year that you could... Right. Not qualify. Okay. I was in the reserves for that. Man, that's sick. So I mean, yeah, that's for goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, but I was better at, at like attacking centre mid. Right. And did you score goals? Yeah. So we're competing for the man. same spot. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry. when we go to the Manchester City trial. Yeah. It's next week. <laughs> it's next week. Isn't <laughs> oh, it? I'll see you there, man. <laughs> yeah. When we go there, we're going to be competing. But. Yeah. Why did you decide to just play football for fun? Because for someone like me, yep. I could never do something without you giving know, it your all. That's wanting, yeah, wanting That's to... why I don't. Exactly. Right like now. like I juggle <laughs> the ball, but I. It's so funny. I played futsal um, the other week, tw two weeks actually, um, with my friends, and it's meant to be like a fun competition. Oh, yeah. And I got there, and I was like, I, <laughs> "This is no fun, mate. I'm just going so hard," and I was just like. Give, gave my all because I'm so competitive That's naturally like, I love it. and I've got such competitive spirit so everything that I do I want to give it my all so even if it's just like a fun game of soccer I'm just yeah. going hard do you think that helps you in life being so competitive 100% in what 100%. ways 
Well, you just want to keep bettering yourself. Like, yeah. I wake up every day and I'm like, how can I become better at whatever I'm doing? Yeah. And you always, you know? I feel like you're always thinking about someone else and it mm. doesn't have to be a specific person. So for me in the football world, you think there's someone out there like training. Yeah. And I need oh, yeah. to be training. Yeah. And I'm sure it's the same for you, whether it's content surfing yeah, yeah. or Yeah, There's anything. always someone else doing exactly what you're not doing right now if you're not doing it. So true. You know, so you got to like hustle. <sighs> yeah. Hustle Put in the hut And... Alex is a massive Gary Vee fan as well, right? Yes, sir. Gary's the man. And he's even sent you shoes. Where are they? They're at home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was cruising with him actually in LA at uh, an event. Were like, you? Yeah. Oh, I, so didn't I, I met that. him. He's a, he's a great freaking dude. Yeah. So I met him in um, London, but I didn't get the same thing. Yeah. I was like, no, Yo, I'm been, Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, we've been in touch a fair bit. He's it's, it's so ins- inspiring. Yeah. So. You guys are going to do a podcast game. with him soon. Really? Yeah. Hopefully, if if we're in the same part of the world at the same time, yeah, hundred percent, he would be so down for that as well. But it's just a matter of if we're in the same part of the world at the same time because yeah. it's kind of hard now. How much has he helped you with everything? Oh, positivity, like his positive vibes really do help. It's just mm-hmm. subconsciously, even just like if you have it going in the background, you know, having that 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 shine of positivity in the back yeah. background just gets you vibing. And it's not even, I don't think it's motivation. I think it's more... It's real. Yeah, because it's like, he's the a stuff, realist. one life. Like, literally, when you break it down, you got one life. Yeah. And you're, you really? have a 400 trillion to one chance to be alive. Yeah. Like, you could be fucking D-Rock Shoes, as he yeah. says, right? <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. it's insane. <laughs> That's the one thing I remember. I don't know why. Yeah. But... Anyway, the one I remember from that is you could have been a boss. <laughs> yeah, or you could be a fucking... Yeah. Shit. You it's... could be someone's shit right now. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, like it's crazy, but yeah. So also on that, yeah, you're going to Manchester to see the Logan Paul KSI fight. Yes, now sir. some of you guys, I assume everyone kind of knows about it. Mm. Some everyone of you on guys, the internet, the YouTube yeah. community. I feel like some people aren't as invested as others. No. Now I just want to go see a fight. Yeah, really. you were you were in Logan Paul's music video. Yeah, music yeah, music video, video. and vlog too. He's a really, he's a, look. He's, he's actually a really good dude. Yeah. Like, he's a really good dude, and I respect him. Even, like, he fucked up so bad, but we all fuck up. I, I know that to that caliber is completely yeah. different, and it's something that is not reversible, ever. But to see someone who's willing to, like, really, he's made himself so vulnerable to wanting to make himself better, is, you can't mm. you can't disrespect that. No. You know? And you, that's I saw like your that. video on it, and I agreed with what you were saying. If yeah. You, if you haven't seen that... We'll click on Alex's channel. Yep. Links will be in the description. Legend. Uh, but yeah, that stuff is sick. Yeah. That's sort of... I don't know. Just what you said, it, I can't quite remember. But when I was watching, I was like, man, th- this is exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, it's just such a contradicting situation to, from everyone's response. Like, so many people were telling him to go kill himself. Yeah. And that's like that's what's what, insane. Like, anyway, it's in the past. And yeah. It's just like, I respect, I respect his drive to admit to his mistakes and want to better himself every day and he's so open about that and it's really cool seeing following someone's journey of having that you know process of becoming a better person yeah almost like rebuilding yeah rebuilding yeah it's awesome I, I see that more motivating yeah than anything so who's gonna win the fight I 100% think Logan why for sure because he's just a beast <laughs> who's gonna win let us know down yeah. in the comments he, I mean I'm just it's gonna be fun I'm torn I don't know yeah I think Logan's big. I think KSI might have the boxing skills. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, some football trivia, mate. Yeah, cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna suck at this. Who has been the best transfer for you in the latest transfer window? I think you, you probably only know one. Oh, please tell me you know one. Oh, okay, I do. So this is this isn't recent though. This is Leighton Ibrahimovic going to LA Galaxy. Wait, is that the only one you know? Well, no, I know. That's Ren- your, fa- is that your favorite. Going oh, to, right, okay. um, where was it going? Where's he going? Oh, he went to. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Italian yeah. team. Um, what is it? Juventus. Juventus. That's the one with the J. Juventus. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, I know that one. But <laughs> so you think Slatan to LA? Yeah, I think that's sick, man. I, well, he's just he's going to retire soon, probably. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. I just think he's the most interesting football. Well, there was to something. Watch. Yeah, Lukaku is my my other favorite. Wait, why? Uh, why Lukaku? I don't know. <laughs> he's just a base. Because I play FIFA and he's good. <laughs> Man, all right. Let's get another question. Who's the? Who do you think is the best player in the world, and why? Um, Messi. Why? Well, statistically. I think statistically, Ronaldo might. I think they're no, pretty no, close. St- no, no, they, was, they, they counted all of his um, li- uh, his freaking assists. Oh right. And he okay. got way. He's put everyone else to sleep. Yeah. He well, goal scoring wise, sure. goal scoring wise for sure. 
so equal. Yeah. But assist wise, definitely. Messi's that, got you know that man like walks on the pitch. His stats are like six kilometers on the field, or I don't know the exact numbers, but everyone else is up at ten. And he's really, Messi. Six Ks. Yeah. He just walks to create space. It's his mind is out of this world. Yeah. All right, another football trivia. That's it, yeah. That's it. I've never actually noticed that. Now you said that. I'm yeah, because like, you watch him and he'll walk. Well, that's why he's so quick and he's so you know fast because he's just rested as well. Yeah, and people go. I think a lot of people at this age group and a lot of these guys will agree. Coaches say, "Move, move. Why are you walking? Why are you walking?" Mm-hmm. And I've started to learn off Messi, and you walk on the field and you get hammered from for it from mm. coaches. And yeah. it's like, man. <laughs> Well, you, you gotta have a different approach. Yeah, like you gotta be different. There's so yeah. many players. In Everyone's football. training to be the same, so why not take a different approach? It could lead you to a different path. So true. Bang. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, another football trivia. Uh, who won the EPL last year? Oh fuck. Is it Man City? Yeah. yeah. Who won Champions League? Oh shit. I don't ever know this one. Um. Oh, who was it? <laughs> Shit. I oh, no, I don't even know. <laughs> Wait, I gotta get the answer up. <laughs> Are you searching? Hey, Siri. <laughs> Who won the... What was it? <laughs> Who won the... Who? The Shape of Water. <laughs> Shape of Water. I think it was... No, it was Liverpool versus... Um... Oh, it was Liverpool who won. No, they played someone and lost. Oh, it was Real Madrid. Yeah, it was Real Madrid. Yeah. Who won the World Cup? I'm sure you know this one. Oh, France. Yeah. Uh, how do you think Australia went? Oh, look, they did, they did great, but I, they should have made it. Further? Yeah. What do you think about Daniel Arzani? Because you, you watch the game, he's great. You? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually a supporter from now because of his, because of how he played. I think he's so good. And now he's signed for Manchester City. Wow, huge. At 19 years old. Now yeah. he's going to go online to Celtic. Yeah. It, it, I, he, play, he just got, he got that pressure. Yeah. Like some people get to that sort of pressure in that atmosphere and they can't handle it. Well, he obviously was amplified by it. Yeah, man, you're playing really against well. you have Pogba right next to yeah. you. You got Griezmann. I don't know how I'd deal with that. I yeah. think you wouldn't know until you're there. Yeah, and maybe you, you wouldn't know. Maybe you get there and you're like, this is fine. Yeah, yes. or you just say like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. So but I think it's really cool how Australia played France and they played really well. Like it was one of mm. France's probably harder games. I agree with that, but I think and we won. just we just lacked the ability to score. Yeah, who, well, against Peru was it? Well, everyone. Peru yeah. we couldn't score. Yeah. France we couldn't score. We had a lot of opportunities. Yeah, I think we just couldn't execute. Yeah, couldn't execute. So, yeah, we're gonna end it there. Yeah. What are we at? Oh, about fifteen minutes or so. Yeah, geez. Nice little. It's video. Nineteen. Yeah, well, oh, by yeah. the time we took the break. <laughs> so Thank make you sure you me. check Alex out. What do you want? YouTube, Instagram, everything. Uh, yeah, everything. Everything will be in the description to check out Alex. Uh, let's get a flash. No, not flashback. Let's show you guys one Snip of it. Alex's content creations. Let's just go do it. <gasps> So yeah, that's Alex. Make sure you subscribe to Alex in the description below. Follow Thank him on much. Instagram. Team Tweety, I'm signed out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're around here. Join the hashtag Team Tweety. Family. And we'll see you yeah. in the next video. Bye. Hey.